Fora TV. Idea Immersion. Visit us at www.fora.tv. I, I always said that when, when Bush administration came out and they were suddenly anxious about liberating the women of Iraq, I was highly suspicious of this because they had been so uninterested in the liberation of women in this country and how they were destroying reproductive rights of women across the planet. So I think we were right in that assumption. But I think all of us have to be looking at how the eradication of reproductive rights and micro, micro, I can never say the word microcrobicides, um, how we're not putting anything out into the world which is stopping AIDS for women. We're not looking at any, I mean, there are very small, tiny things being done in the face of this huge, huge problem. And again, if our energy were being devoted towards human security, I, I read a figure the other day that $390 billion is spent every year on the military budget. If we took, and that's not including Iraq, if we took a sixth of that budget, $60 billion a year, we could feed all the people in the world, we could provide them drinkable water, we could stop, we could put a huge chunk in, 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 in AIDS, and we could educate people. Now, don't you think that might have an impact on terrorism? I mean, <laughs> call me crazy. Do you, do, I mean, am I just, am I a lunatic? That the idea that if we fed people and provided them places to live and educated them and loved them, it might dry up the fertile ground of terrorism, which every single book has said grows out of humiliation, shaming, occupation, invasion, invasion and creating powerlessness in people. And I really feel it's, it is that simple. People go, it's not that simple. No, it is that simple. Part of what we know is women. We keep not trusting because it is really simple. If you feed people and love people and nurture people and care for people, they won't kill you. It's not that complicated, <laughs> do you know? And, and I can't say that strongly enough. So all of us need to actually trust that. You know, there's a great book by Robert Pape where he, he has done all these interviews with suicide bombers since 1980. And by the way, he's a conservative guy. And he wrote this book where he actually documents. Now, the Bush administration tells us people blow themselves up because they hate our values, because they hate freedom, because they hate America, because they're fundamentalists. Well, the truth of the matter is 90% of suicide bombers are none of that. They're not fundamentalists. They don't hate America. They, do you know why they blow themselves up? Because people invade their homelands. Because people occupy their land and their, and their families. They are humiliated. They are ashamed. And they are powerless. And so they retaliate. Now, what would you do? if someone was occupying your land and you had no power. And I think if we really want to look at the roots of why people do things, if we really want to change, we have to again look at complicated ideas, not these reductive sound bites that keep getting put out and, 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 and shot into the chip that's the terror chip. So please, all of you, just please be bold and be outrageous and be strong and speak out in these next months. Because the, if we don't, it's going to be very hard to turn back what's going to be ahead in the next few years. We have to be stronger now and braver and kinder and more loving than we have ever been in our existence. Thank you all very much.